All right, guys, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, Sunday breakdown, here we go. So I'm going to obviously start with GJ, and then uh, we'll go through a few of these. For those who are interested, if you trade GJ, watch GJ breakdown if you trade. AU, just, you know, watch the AU part and so on. So how should you do a top-down analysis? Obviously, how I'm personally going to break the trade, I always start um on the beginning of the month i start on the monthly just to see how the previous candle um kind of closed and i can see that uh we have bullish momentum right and this current month's candle came all the way down into the liquidity area and then grab some liquidity and now it's pushing and hopefully we can see um more push to the upside probably all the way up to there or there so that's all kind of that's all I kind of see on the on the monthly go down on the weekly time frame. Now what I see here on the weekly is this last week's candle uh, completely engulfed the previous one. So as you can see, the engulf the engulfing happened right there. Um, it obviously engulfed all three of these candles, but that's the start of the engulfing right there. Um, what I also see is that the market never failed to make a new higher low. So if you look closely, let me just disable that. Uh, we have obviously a higher low, higher low, higher low here, higher low here, higher low, higher low, and then another higher low. So if you look at that like there, you can see the market never broke any of these higher lows, which means uh, bullish uptrend market structure has been maintained throughout. And there is no reason we should be looking for sales whatsoever. Now you may see a, a drop or two, but for as long as we above these market structure levels, the higher lows, uh, we are still on the higher time frame in a bullish market structure and a bullish uptrend, right? So there is that. Uh, let me just delete those. Hello. There we go. Um, so we have a weekly bullish engulfing, right? And then we have an uptrend market structures maintaining structure, right? Let's put a, a, an arrow to, just so you can see it, right? That way you see it more. Anyway, that's really all I do on the, um, on the weekly. However, you do got to keep in mind that we, we are in this little zone here right we are in this little zone right here so what you what i want you to do is to keep to pay attention what happens here on the smaller time frame if we break above we test and continue to the upside well there you go if not if not because what what could also happen is that this is the last higher high and this is a lower high and this could be another lower high for what another leg to make another lower high so then and you know market structure would break at that point so yeah you gotta keep keep in mind that when you um when you when you do your when you analyze every sunday i analyze every sunday you should too actually uh prepare yourself for the week ahead so just keep in mind this area very very uh crucial area here because we do have some you know support that is turned into a resistance so we just got to watch that, right? Now on the daily, very, very simple stuff. All I'm looking for is super, super strong support and resistance, right? Super strong. Now what I mean by that is, I'll give you an example. Uh, I'll grab my triangle here. Boom, see that? That is a strong, strong uh, resistance area. The reason for that is because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, touches in a row market failed to break that as resistance right every time market gets to this point it drops it gets back to that point it drops back to that point boom drop it tried to break it, it, it had a little break retest little push to the upside boom broke back in again under came back retested retested again retested again and then boom a, a massive drop so keep that in mind we do have a resistance here so that's how I analyze. Good. I have my resistance there. Uh, looking for another area. 
uh, of very very strong support this could be a beautiful support area right here you can see boom 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 boom, boom all that i don't have to explain this you can see it um however we do have another mini resistance uh right here look at that right let's move that a bit to the upside right there now that's a mini resistance and the reason for that is because as you can see once the break happened if it rest it retested that area and then dropped but failed to make a a new low it just maintained higher time frame uh market structure to the upside and now we're back at it again so now we just have to watch this area and see if it's going to break or if it's going to hold and continue to the downside so you do have to keep that in mind and for those auto block freaks yes i can see it there's an there's an auto block here that the market has tapped into more than once so if you trade auto blocks there's your setup <laughs> um but yeah you have that and like trading is literally that simple guys you don't have to uh complicated uh it's i mean it's already complicated so why make it just look for areas of support and resistance where market has i mean look if you spotted this right if you spotted this and you saw the break and you saw the retest and i mean look at this look, this is this screams by me right you could have bought after this candle or you could have bought after the bullish engulfing and then you could have caught this whole thing but you, you guys can see what i mean and and how i trade now i don't have my charts like that it's just i'm giving you guys an example on what i look for so you can train your eyes to see these uh points in the market resistance becomes support support becomes resistance another example right here on the four hour boom look at that boom one two three four find these areas look for areas where price found support and resistance and once you find them it's 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 game over you know because if this break if, if this holds if this is the break and this is the retest we're looking at price to hit to 168 easily 167 168 easily 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 um but don't confuse yourself with with smaller time frame because look at that smaller time frame can be uh deceiving and 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 a lot of fake out and shit. Uh, i mean this whole area is just one little wick on on the higher time frame so you just have to maintain um and and remember what the higher time frame are doing so you're on the right track um yeah a lot of fake out a lot of fake outs on smaller time frame i mean look when i go on the daily you can see how that wick came into that area perfectly powerful powerful shit look at that powerful stuff i'm telling you guys look we have another area right here boom right market found support eventually came back to that support boom flew to the upside there's another huge support look at that boom right boom Look at that. From this area, I found support. Boom, boom, boom. Insane, insane. But this is it for GJ. Let's move on to what is this? Uh, holy shit, AUDSD. I did this breakdown for one of my students in the Discord, and I told them that we we could see cells. And look at that. <laughs> it's actually like it's actually playing out quite well uh considering so we took the cells somewhere around here this area we put the stops above the the high and we have identified this support that is now resistance and price failed to break above and look at that we tested one more time hopefully when the market opens it continued to drops in in his direction see very very simple like i have you could literally trade like this guys you could literally trade like this and 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 mark your charts like that and okay we have support here and that's where i'm gonna get out right you can have a support here because of this area and this area and then you can get out here or you can hold until it takes liquidity below here all right but i'm gonna keep this in case um 
you know, we jump on a call again soon. And then we can go over that. Look at the higher time frame. Look at the daily. Look how perfect this area looks here on the daily. Remember, I showed you how you can find these areas. Very, very simple stuff, guys. Find support that becomes resistance and trade from and to these areas. Right? I mean, if I drag this across, look at that. Even, look, boom. Same shit right there. See that? Boom. Massive support. It held, it held, even here. Boom, break, retest, boom, continuation. Right? Where's the next support area? Right here. Price found support down here. I'll mark it up. Boom. That's where my take profit is. See? Beautiful stuff, guys. It's very, very simple. Don't confuse it. If you're an EMA, then moving average is fucking freak. You can put these three AMAs on your charts. 200, 150, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah, 250, 20, 50, and 200. My bad. And then, look, we're, we're, we're under all these AMAs, so perfect setup to sell. But obviously, I just never, like, have them on. It's just cut, they clutter my charts. And I don't like that. Um, look at this setup. If you caught this, boom. Price found resistance in this area. You mark it up. And by the way, you mark it up from the wick, the, 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 the body to the wick. Right? Boom, like that. From the body to the wick, and you drag it across. What happened? Boom, price came back. Rejected it once. Boom, dropped a bit. Came back, rejected it twice, and then boom, all the way in. Meltdown. Very, very simple stuff. But for... Obviously, I do the same thing on a, on a weekly and monthly as I did as I showed you for GJ. So in this scenario, we have uh, bearish market structure. As you could see, lower highs are being formed all across and lower lows are being formed as well. Boom, boom. So now we're now looking for another lower, lower low. Uh, so that's my take on AUDUSD shorts. This is just one of the setups that me and uh, one of my students in the Discord. By the way, the link is in the description if you guys are interested um, to join in. We do live trading sessions. We do, we do. I do send all my trades that I personally take. Um, yeah, but there you guys have it for a UDSD, USD JPY. Um, I never liked this pair. I never. I, I don't know. I've never ever liked this pair, you guys. And the reason for that is it's it's very, very, very weird, right? Because look at this shit, right? You think you're in a bearish market structure. It breaks, right? So you're like, cool, it's buys. It comes down. Watch, it's going to make a lower high here, and then it's going to break <laughs> when a lot of people just bought here. Anyway, yes, this is everyone in it for me. But again, nonetheless, look, we have strong support here. Boom. You see why now market stopped here because of this support that was found long time ago boom 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 it held all across if you want a strong resistance you can use this one yeah i'll use this one that's a huge resistance there boom one two three four and that's the daily remember higher time frame baby higher time frame never ever uh do analysis on smaller time frames unless you you're trying to scalp because that, that's just something completely different. I don't scalp. I day trade. And if my trade requires me to hold, then I'll, I'll just hold. But yeah, I won't just happily scalp. I don't want to do that. It's, it's too much going on. I'm a laid back. I'm a set and forget trader. <laughs> um, we have a four hour. So look what happening. Look what's happening on the four hour. Price have found some sort of a resistance here and it's failing to break see that boom one candle closed above the following candle closed below one candle following uh one candle closes above two candles closing below which means these two candles can become a bit can become a bearish engulfing if you don't know what i'm talking about stay tuned for the course guys i'm, I'm gonna drop a course i'll drop a course and i'll teach you everything you need to know so you can see how on the higher time frame it's a rejection and that just 
that just tells me to sell this shit, right? And also, I mean, you guys, I'm sure, know what's happening with the dollar and how Russia, um, China, Brazil, South Africa is ditching the U.S. dollar and creating their own currency. So that's why we might see more sales. Um, it makes sense now. So there you guys have it for USD JPY. I mean, look at that from the wick, from the wick to the body, and then we have a perfect resistance here to sell. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A lot of you trade gold. A lot of you trade gold. Look, I've had some markups here, but let's uh, clean it up and go on the weekly time frame and see what's happening with gold. I haven't trade. I don't trade gold. Although I haven't even looked at gold in in fucking months like probably years now literally two years even have a look at this shit but what do i see here Oof. so we had the massive bull run and it's just been in this range right it's it, mark has been stuck in this range from here and here you can even drag it put it somewhere around there boom that's that's gold on the weekly let's look at the daily and see what's happening so we are high now we are super high could we see sales uh, I'm gonna get these weekly off because I don't do markups on the weekly I only do them on the daily um, Hmm. let's just see here we have this area that the market is now um, rejecting it's failing to break that area we do have a mini support here you can't you can't you can't forget about this resistance that's now a support right we can't forget about that we do have another support down here don't forget about that right so what do I what am I looking at I'll tell you very very simple stuff guys watch do you notice how I find these insane insane points in the market where the market reversed from so look after the this was the pink point of the reversal to the downside this was the pink point of the reversal to the downside and I mark these areas up and I see, okay, price is now heading to the upside. Came, it, it found resistance, came back to the support, found support, pushed up, broke, retested it once, twice, and three times, right? But yet still failing to break this, this little resistance that we have. So if it breaks, gold is heading, um, if it breaks, gold is heading to the upside like that. If it doesn't break, Right, gold is gonna plummet down to uh, this support here because there's nothing really strong here to hold it. There could be, but I don't see it. There could be, but yeah, highly unlikely. Because you can consider this area. Just keep that. Uh, I'll keep it as a line for you guys, so you can just keep in mind. So you can like kind of take profit one down here. And then let the rest run. That's fair enough. Okay, I hope that made sense. So you see, once you work only on higher time frame, the market is not confusing, right? It's very, very simple stuff. You can see everything here, right? Four hour time frame. You could do the same thing I did on the daily, on the four hour, right? So you can say, okay, market found support here. I'm gonna mark this area and and see what happens, right? A median area. Because look, resistance, resistance, found support, and then if it comes in back, it's most probably gonna stop or reject from that area too. And that's how you, you do trading. And then obviously you only go on smaller time frames for entry and time frame correlation. You gotta know all these things, right? But once you once you're looking at higher time frame, the market is very very clear, very clear. You, most of you are just not patient enough to to um, to wait for setups to develop, because this takes days, you know. 
but yeah that's gold for me guys very very simple straightforward other than that is i mean do you guys trade bitcoin i mean if you do there you go holy we are out of resistance here so let's see let's 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 do this what's happening here oh my god <laughs> look at that shit boom literally so perfect look at that little wick thing in that zone oh see boom perfect let's go on the daily let's delete that <coughs> excuse me now what do we have here bitcoin 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 we have a strong strong level of resistance here I mean, sorry, a support that is now a resistance. That's why the market is kind of rejecting that area. Right? What do I see Bitcoin heading if it respects that resistance? It's going to head down to this area. Right? It's a zone. It's never a pain point price. It's a zone. It's going to head within that range, right? It's going to come back to that little specific area. However, if it doesn't, if price really wants to push up, it's going to respect this little area. See this mini four hour support? Because we're on the daily. I know for a fact that's a four hour resistance that turned into support and so on. If it, if it, res if it respects that, 100% we're going to consume it to the upside. If it doesn't, it's going to crash down, uh, back down to like 24 or 500 or so. So let's go down on the four hour time frame. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Resistance turned into a support, support, support. Very, very simple shit, guys. If it does break this, where's it gonna head to? Um, let's see. Let's look at the most recent. So it'll probably be like around somewhere around there. This area. Yeah, I'd say somewhere around there because we have very strong support that could be turned into a resistance here. What else? USD, Euro USD. Ah, these things are boring. But there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed today's breakdown. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.